funny is when I was pregnant, like six, when I was six months pregnant, I filmed a on my hair health journey video where I went from purple to blonde and cut my hair and got a real healthy looking and I never edited it or posted it and as time went on I was like, eh, kind of getting the itch to dye my hair again. But this time when I got the urge, I did wait a week to make sure it was something I wanted to do. And it's also been like six months since I did anything and I'm not gonna bleach it, so. But we're going ginger. I've been orange before, but never ginger. I did text my friends, I was like, hey, if I went ginger, would you like make fun of me? And they're all like, yes. So I ordered a couple things. Let's open this unboxing. What the hell? I got Omega fish oil, which I did not order. Okay. Um, did I get the wrong package? It says my name on it. Okay. Ordered that. I also ordered that. So. And I ordered this. But the color I got is called Cajun Spice. And it is a ginger, vegan, semi-permanent dye. Then I got these two hair pieces. So let's dig into all this real quick. Scarlett's crying a little bit. I'm gonna feed her. I'm just gonna finish this real quick. Um, does it come right out or is there, I'm assuming there's a protective barrier actually. That does look gingery. Ooh, that smells really good. I think the plan is I'm gonna shag my hair. I'm gonna shag my hair, get it like nice and shaggy because I think that'll look good. I also think ginger will look good with um, all my freckles and my green eyes. But I'm gonna keep it shaggy, leave out a couple highlights, um, and then I'll have like a shagged ginger highlighted hair. She's really hungry for tit. I can't believe they sent me like fish oil. Like, okay, they're saying something. They're like, I see the other shit you ordered because I have ordered like buckets of candy from Amazon. Oh, these look the exact same shade, so I can probably wear them together. I should probably start with the shag, so let's go. So, I'm gonna do the ponytail method. That's what I did last time, and I looked fucking hot. I'm kind of terrified, actually, because my hair already is short. But it's still damaged, so haircuts are good for it. Last time I did three ponytails, I think. Okay, so I think you kind of just cut across what I, that's what I did last time, then you taper it. Oh, that one's already too short. I can't see what I'm doing. Oh shit, I can't see what I'm doing. I don't have my contacts in. I was like, it's really blurry. Ooh, that's a lot of hair. I'm scared. I think I'm done with this ponytail, and then I'm going to do ponytail number two. Okay, so I'm gonna like get the middle more now. Up here. This is, I swear, this is how I did it last time. It looked good. I don't know what I'm talking about. I just wanna make sure all the hair is like pulled up all the way. Okay, same deal. Okay, so I did two ponytails, like one up front and then one. Oh god, that's definitely shorter. Okay, now I'm gonna try to get all my hair in it and then just do one more and then I think that should be good. So. I might just taper it instead of cutting the whole thing since we did already do a lot of cutting. So I'll just taper it a bit. Side. This is my second time using Adore Me. And the first time I used it, it went horrible because I didn't listen and I dyed a brown color over pink and purple and then turned my hair like 
a really weird shade of red. Like, I'm thinking of the shade I'm thinking of. It starts with a B. Let's see how much is in one. Ugh, oh, this is gonna bother me. Gavin? Gavin? Yeah. What's that shade of red that starts with a B? Are you thinking of burgundy? Yes, burgundy. Perfect. It turned like a burgundy. <laughs> Okay, so I'm definitely thinking I'm gonna need both dyes, which is good that I bought two then. I'm gonna leave a little bit extra in this one, just in case I don't like how the highlights turn out. But, excuse me. So that's about how much one is. Well, I tied off two pieces. One here, one here, and I might leave a couple more for some highlights, and I'm ready to get started. I'm really nervous. Okay, so this is both of the dyes, and I'm ready to get started. And I tied up some spots for highlights, so. Okay. First piece. Let's see how this color looks. Ah! Oh God. Oh wait. I didn't even look at instructions. Apply hair color, comb thoroughly, cover with plastic cap. Okay, um, somebody else said something that I screenshot. I did not wash my hair first. I applied dry, fully saturated from roots to tips. Instead of 45 minute timer, instead of 15, wrap my hair in a plastic bag. Okay, all right. These are basically saying the same thing. That's ginger, mate. The reason I'm freaking out is because I've just never really gone, well, or it's been a really long time since I went like another natural color, because I have gone like, I have like dyed my hair like when I was in high school, I went like a, like auburn, so like a reddish brown. <laughs> Let's see, and I have gone like a really dark brown one time, but... I haven't like ever been ginger. Like I've been super bright orange, I've been a lot of crazy colors. But for some reason going like other natural colors freaks me out more, so. I feel like that's true with a lot of people who dye their hair crazy colors. Like going a natural color just feels a lot more daunting than just going like fucking, than like a uh, blue or whatever. I'm doing a bad job. It looks really orange when I wipe it away, so that's awesome. Okay, I need to stop recording and clean this up because this is a disaster. Should I say fuck it and do my eyebrows too? Dip in there. <gasps> oh shit! Honestly, I feel like my eyebrows aren't really gonna change color that much because it's not like I bleached them or anything, but now we wait for the reveal. I don't know if for the reveal I'm gonna wear my natural hair or put in pieces yet, but we'll see. But I'm sure I'll post, by the time I'm done editing this, I'll be able to post um, like how it looks like normally as well. So I left out some highlights, did my eyebrows. Now we wait. This is the finished look. I I just feel like like the main character in like a movie who's like really aesthetic and like reads and goes to libraries. Um or just like I feel like a really earthy hippie mom. Either way, there are two vibes that I'm really digging, so I think this is giving what it's supposed to give. And I'm just obsessed with the side profile. Like. So, yeah, we are ginger, and I think that's where we're gonna be for the next little bit. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Um, I'm Chin Queen, this is Live Bulb, and have a good breakfast. Bye! <laughs>